こんにちは。英語のシャドーイング練習教室へようこそ。司会のシャドウです。ここでは役立つ英会話を練習してネイティブ英語を身につけよう。日常生活で使える英語フレーズを10個、10回ずつ読み上げるから、その後に声に出して10回練習しよう。それじゃあ、始めるよう。Hey Jordan, I'm working on my English speaking skills but sometimes struggle to keep the conversation going. I feel like I run out of things to say quickly. Do you have any tips for expanding conversations? Hey Jordan, I'm working on my English speaking skills but sometimes struggle to keep the conversation going. I feel like I run out of things to say quickly. Do you have any tips for expanding conversations? Hey Jordan, I'm working on my English speaking skills but sometimes struggle to keep the conversation going. I feel like I run out of things to say quickly. Do you have any tips for expanding conversations? Hey Jordan, I'm working on my English speaking skills but sometimes struggle to keep the conversation going. I feel like I run out of things to say quickly. Do you have any tips for expanding conversations? Hey Jordan, I'm working on my English speaking skills but sometimes struggle to keep the conversation going. I feel like I run out of things to say quickly. Do you have any tips for expanding conversations? Hey Jordan, I'm working on my English speaking skills but sometimes struggle to keep the conversation going. I feel like I run out of things to say quickly. Do you have any tips for expanding conversations? Hey Jordan, I'm working on my English speaking skills but sometimes struggle to keep the conversation going. I feel like I run out of things to say quickly. Do you have any tips for expanding conversations? Hey Jordan, I'm working on my English speaking skills but sometimes struggle to keep the conversation going. I feel like I run out of things to say quickly. Do you have any tips for expanding conversations? Hey Jordan, I'm working on my English speaking skills but sometimes struggle to keep the conversation going. I feel like I run out of things to say quickly. Do you have any tips for expanding conversations? Hey Jordan, I'm working on my English speaking skills but sometimes struggle to keep the conversation going. I feel like I run out of things to say quickly. Do you have any tips for expanding conversations? Absolutely, Alex. Expanding a conversation is all about keeping the flow going and showing interest in what the other person says. What's harder for you, coming up with new topics or responding to others?
Absolutely, Alex. Expanding a conversation is all about keeping the flow going and showing interest in what the other person says. What's harder for you, coming up with new topics or responding to others? Absolutely, Alex. Expanding a conversation is all about keeping the flow going and showing interest in what the other person says. What's harder for you, coming up with new topics or responding to others? Absolutely, Alex. Expanding a conversation is all about keeping the flow going and showing interest in what the other person says. What's harder for you, coming up with new topics or responding to others? Absolutely, Alex. Expanding a conversation is all about keeping the flow going and showing interest in what the other person says. What's harder for you, coming up with new topics or responding to others? Absolutely, Alex. Expanding a conversation is all about keeping the flow going and showing interest in what the other person says. What's harder for you, coming up with new topics or responding to others? Absolutely, Alex. Expanding a conversation is all about keeping the flow going and showing interest in what the other person says. What's harder for you, coming up with new topics or responding to others? Absolutely, Alex. Expanding a conversation is all about keeping the flow going and showing interest in what the other person says. What's harder for you, coming up with new topics or responding to others? Absolutely, Alex. Expanding a conversation is all about keeping the flow going and showing interest in what the other person says. What's harder for you, coming up with new topics or responding to others? Absolutely, Alex. Expanding a conversation is all about keeping the flow going and showing interest in what the other person says. What's harder for you, coming up with new topics or responding to others? Mostly responding and knowing how to ask follow-up questions. Sometimes I don't know how to go beyond a simple reply. That's common. A good way to start is with follow-up questions. For example, if someone says, I just got back from a trip to Italy, you could ask, what was your favorite part of the trip? This keeps them talking and shows interest.
mostly responding and knowing how to ask follow-up questions. Sometimes I don't know how to go beyond a simple reply. That's common. A good way to start is with follow-up questions. For example, if someone says, I just got back from a trip to Italy, you could ask, what was your favorite part of the trip? This keeps them talking and shows interest. mostly responding and knowing how to ask follow-up questions. Sometimes I don't know how to go beyond a simple reply. That's common. A good way to start is with follow-up questions. For example, if someone says, I just got back from a trip to Italy, you could ask, what was your favorite part of the trip? This keeps them talking and shows interest. mostly responding and knowing how to ask follow-up questions. Sometimes I don't know how to go beyond a simple reply. That's common. A good way to start is with follow-up questions. For example, if someone says, I just got back from a trip to Italy, you could ask, what was your favorite part of the trip? This keeps them talking and shows interest. mostly responding and knowing how to ask follow-up questions. Sometimes I don't know how to go beyond a simple reply. That's common. A good way to start is with follow-up questions. For example, if someone says, I just got back from a trip to Italy, you could ask, what was your favorite part of the trip? This keeps them talking and shows interest. mostly responding and knowing how to ask follow-up questions. Sometimes I don't know how to go beyond a simple reply. That's common. A good way to start is with follow-up questions. For example, if someone says, I just got back from a trip to Italy, you could ask, what was your favorite part of the trip? This keeps them talking and shows interest. mostly responding and knowing how to ask follow-up questions. Sometimes I don't know how to go beyond a simple reply. That's common. A good way to start is with follow-up questions. For example, if someone says, I just got back from a trip to Italy, you could ask, what was your favorite part of the trip? This keeps them talking and shows interest. mostly responding and knowing how to ask follow-up questions. 
Sometimes I don't know how to go beyond a simple reply. That's common. A good way to start is with follow-up questions. For example, if someone says, I just got back from a trip to Italy, you could ask, what was your favorite part of the trip? This keeps them talking and shows interest. Mostly responding and knowing how to ask follow-up questions. Sometimes I don't know how to go beyond a simple reply. That's common. A good way to start is with follow-up questions. For example, if someone says, I just got back from a trip to Italy, you could ask, what was your favorite part of the trip? This keeps them talking and shows interest. Mostly responding and knowing how to ask follow-up questions. Sometimes I don't know how to go beyond a simple reply. That's common. A good way to start is with follow-up questions. For example, if someone says, I just got back from a trip to Italy, you could ask, what was your favorite part of the trip? This keeps them talking and shows interest. I see, so it's about asking questions that make them elaborate. Are there specific types of follow-up questions that work well? Yes. Open-ended questions work best. Instead of asking, did you enjoy Italy, try, what did you enjoy most about Italy? Open-ended questions invite more detailed responses. I see, so it's about asking questions that make them elaborate. Are there specific types of follow-up questions that work well? Yes. Open-ended questions work best. Instead of asking, did you enjoy Italy, try, what did you enjoy most about Italy? Open-ended questions invite more detailed responses. I see, so it's about asking questions that make them elaborate. Are there specific types of follow-up questions that work well? Yes. Open-ended questions work best. Instead of asking, did you enjoy Italy, try, what did you enjoy most about Italy? Open-ended questions invite more detailed responses. I see, so it's about asking questions that make them elaborate. Are there specific types of follow-up questions that work well? Yes. Open-ended questions work best. Instead of asking, did you enjoy Italy, try, 
What did you enjoy most about Italy? Open-ended questions invite more detailed responses. I see, so it's about asking questions that make them elaborate. Are there specific types of follow-up questions that work well? Yes. Open-ended questions work best. Instead of asking, did you enjoy Italy, try, what did you enjoy most about Italy? Open-ended questions invite more detailed responses. I see, so it's about asking questions that make them elaborate. Are there specific types of follow-up questions that work well? Yes. Open-ended questions work best. Instead of asking, did you enjoy Italy, try, what did you enjoy most about Italy? Open-ended questions invite more detailed responses. I see, so it's about asking questions that make them elaborate. Are there specific types of follow-up questions that work well? Yes. Open-ended questions work best. Instead of asking, did you enjoy Italy, try, what did you enjoy most about Italy? Open-ended questions invite more detailed responses. I see, so it's about asking questions that make them elaborate. Are there specific types of follow-up questions that work well? Yes. Open-ended questions work best. Instead of asking, did you enjoy Italy, try, what did you enjoy most about Italy? Open-ended questions invite more detailed responses. I see, so it's about asking questions that make them elaborate. Are there specific types of follow-up questions that work well? Yes. Open-ended questions work best. Instead of asking, did you enjoy Italy, try, what did you enjoy most about Italy? Open-ended questions invite more detailed responses. I see, so it's about asking questions that make them elaborate. Are there specific types of follow-up questions that work well? Yes. Open-ended questions work best. Instead of asking, did you enjoy Italy, try, what did you enjoy most about Italy? Open-ended questions invite more detailed responses.
Makes sense. But what if they give a short answer? How do I keep the conversation going? If you get a short answer, add a statement before asking another question. For example, I've always wanted to visit Italy. I've heard the food and architecture are amazing. Did you get to try any local dishes? Makes sense. But what if they give a short answer? How do I keep the conversation going? If you get a short answer, add a statement before asking another question. For example, I've always wanted to visit Italy. I've heard the food and architecture are amazing. Did you get to try any local dishes? Makes sense. But what if they give a short answer? How do I keep the conversation going? If you get a short answer, add a statement before asking another question. For example, I've always wanted to visit Italy. I've heard the food and architecture are amazing. Did you get to try any local dishes? Makes sense. But what if they give a short answer? How do I keep the conversation going? If you get a short answer, add a statement before asking another question. For example, I've always wanted to visit Italy. I've heard the food and architecture are amazing. Did you get to try any local dishes? Makes sense. But what if they give a short answer? How do I keep the conversation going? If you get a short answer, add a statement before asking another question. For example, I've always wanted to visit Italy. I've heard the food and architecture are amazing. Did you get to try any local dishes? Makes sense. But what if they give a short answer? How do I keep the conversation going? If you get a short answer, add a statement before asking another question. For example, I've always wanted to visit Italy. I've heard the food and architecture are amazing. Did you get to try any local dishes? Makes sense. But what if they give a short answer? How do I keep the conversation going? If you get a short answer, add a statement before asking another question. For example, I've always wanted to visit Italy. I've heard the food and architecture are amazing. Did you get to try any local dishes?
Makes sense. But what if they give a short answer? How do I keep the conversation going? If you get a short answer, add a statement before asking another question. For example, I've always wanted to visit Italy. I've heard the food and architecture are amazing. Did you get to try any local dishes? Makes sense. But what if they give a short answer? How do I keep the conversation going? If you get a short answer, add a statement before asking another question. For example, I've always wanted to visit Italy. I've heard the food and architecture are amazing. Did you get to try any local dishes? Makes sense. But what if they give a short answer? How do I keep the conversation going? If you get a short answer, add a statement before asking another question. For example, I've always wanted to visit Italy. I've heard the food and architecture are amazing. Did you get to try any local dishes? That sounds natural. Do you have other techniques to keep conversations interesting? Relate their experience to yours. If someone talks about traveling, you might say, I haven't been to Italy, but I did visit France last year. Do you find European cultures very different? That sounds natural. Do you have other techniques to keep conversations interesting? Relate their experience to yours. If someone talks about traveling, you might say, I haven't been to Italy, but I did visit France last year. Do you find European cultures very different? That sounds natural. Do you have other techniques to keep conversations interesting? Relate their experience to yours. If someone talks about traveling, you might say, I haven't been to Italy, but I did visit France last year. Do you find European cultures very different? That sounds natural. Do you have other techniques to keep conversations interesting? Relate their experience to yours. If someone talks about traveling, you might say, I haven't been to Italy, but I did visit France last year. Do you find European cultures very different? That sounds natural. 
Do you have other techniques to keep conversations interesting? Relate their experience to yours. If someone talks about traveling, you might say, I haven't been to Italy, but I did visit France last year. Do you find European cultures very different? That sounds natural. Do you have other techniques to keep conversations interesting? Relate their experience to yours. If someone talks about traveling, you might say, I haven't been to Italy, but I did visit France last year. Do you find European cultures very different? That sounds natural. Do you have other techniques to keep conversations interesting? Relate their experience to yours. If someone talks about traveling, you might say, I haven't been to Italy, but I did visit France last year. Do you find European cultures very different? That sounds natural. Do you have other techniques to keep conversations interesting? Relate their experience to yours. If someone talks about traveling, you might say, I haven't been to Italy, but I did visit France last year. Do you find European cultures very different? That sounds natural. Do you have other techniques to keep conversations interesting? Relate their experience to yours. If someone talks about traveling, you might say, I haven't been to Italy, but I did visit France last year. Do you find European cultures very different? That sounds natural. Do you have other techniques to keep conversations interesting? Relate their experience to yours. If someone talks about traveling, you might say, I haven't been to Italy, but I did visit France last year. Do you find European cultures very different? I like that. It's a way to share without changing the focus. What about using body language or tone? Nonverbal cues are crucial. Simple gestures like nodding, acknowledging with short verbal responses, and maintaining eye contact show you're listening. A warm tone and enthusiasm encourage them to keep talking. I like that. It's a way to share without changing the focus. What about using body language or tone? Nonverbal cues are crucial. 
Simple gestures like nodding, acknowledging with short verbal responses, and maintaining eye contact show you're listening. A warm tone and enthusiasm encourage them to keep talking. I like that. It's a way to share without changing the focus. What about using body language or tone? Nonverbal cues are crucial. Simple gestures like nodding, acknowledging with short verbal responses, and maintaining eye contact show you're listening. A warm tone and enthusiasm encourage them to keep talking. I like that. It's a way to share without changing the focus. What about using body language or tone? Nonverbal cues are crucial. Simple gestures like nodding, acknowledging with short verbal responses, and maintaining eye contact show you're listening. A warm tone and enthusiasm encourage them to keep talking. I like that. It's a way to share without changing the focus. What about using body language or tone? Nonverbal cues are crucial. Simple gestures like nodding, acknowledging with short verbal responses, and maintaining eye contact show you're listening. A warm tone and enthusiasm encourage them to keep talking. I like that. It's a way to share without changing the focus. What about using body language or tone? Nonverbal cues are crucial. Simple gestures like nodding, acknowledging with short verbal responses, and maintaining eye contact show you're listening. A warm tone and enthusiasm encourage them to keep talking. I like that. It's a way to share without changing the focus. What about using body language or tone? Nonverbal cues are crucial. Simple gestures like nodding, acknowledging with short verbal responses, and maintaining eye contact show you're listening. A warm tone and enthusiasm encourage them to keep talking. I like that. It's a way to share without changing the focus. What about using body language or tone? Nonverbal cues are crucial. Simple gestures like nodding, acknowledging with short verbal responses, and maintaining eye contact show you're listening. A warm tone and enthusiasm encourage them to keep talking.
I like that. It's a way to share without changing the focus. What about using body language or tone? Nonverbal cues are crucial. Simple gestures like nodding, acknowledging with short verbal responses, and maintaining eye contact show you're listening. A warm tone and enthusiasm encourage them to keep talking. I like that. It's a way to share without changing the focus. What about using body language or tone? Nonverbal cues are crucial. Simple gestures like nodding, acknowledging with short verbal responses, and maintaining eye contact show you're listening. A warm tone and enthusiasm encourage them to keep talking. Good point. I'll work on that. Are there any helpful phrases for expanding conversations? Yes, try, that's interesting. Tell me more. Or, I've always been curious about. These phrases show interest. You could also say, I would love to experience that someday, to add depth. Good point. I'll work on that. Are there any helpful phrases for expanding conversations? Yes, try, that's interesting. Tell me more. Or, I've always been curious about. These phrases show interest. You could also say, I would love to experience that someday, to add depth. Good point. I'll work on that. Are there any helpful phrases for expanding conversations? Yes, try, that's interesting. Tell me more. Or, I've always been curious about. These phrases show interest. You could also say, I would love to experience that someday, to add depth. Good point. I'll work on that. Are there any helpful phrases for expanding conversations? Yes, try, that's interesting. Tell me more. Or, I've always been curious about. These phrases show interest. You could also say, I would love to experience that someday, to add depth. Good point. I'll work on that. Are there any helpful phrases for expanding conversations? Yes, try, that's interesting. 
tell me more. Or I've always been curious about. These phrases show interest. You could also say, I would love to experience that someday to add depth. Good point. I'll work on that. Are there any helpful phrases for expanding conversations? Yes, try, that's interesting. Tell me more. Or, I've always been curious about. These phrases show interest. You could also say, I would love to experience that someday, to add depth. Good point. I'll work on that. Are there any helpful phrases for expanding conversations? Yes, try, that's interesting. Tell me more. Or, I've always been curious about. These phrases show interest. You could also say, I would love to experience that someday, to add depth. Good point. I'll work on that. Are there any helpful phrases for expanding conversations? Yes, try, that's interesting. Tell me more. Or, I've always been curious about. These phrases show interest. You could also say, I would love to experience that someday, to add depth. Good point. I'll work on that. Are there any helpful phrases for expanding conversations? Yes, try, that's interesting. Tell me more. Or, I've always been curious about. These phrases show interest. You could also say, I would love to experience that someday, to add depth. Good point. I'll work on that. Are there any helpful phrases for expanding conversations? Yes, try, that's interesting. Tell me more. Or, I've always been curious about. These phrases show interest. You could also say, I would love to experience that someday, to add depth. Those are useful. And what's a good way to end a conversation smoothly? Ending politely is important. You could say, I've really enjoyed talking with you, or thanks for sharing. I learned something new. Then, if needed, add, I have to get going, but let's catch up again soon.
Those are useful. And what's a good way to end a conversation smoothly? Ending politely is important. You could say, I've really enjoyed talking with you, or thanks for sharing. I learned something new. Then, if needed, add, I have to get going, but let's catch up again soon. Those are useful. And what's a good way to end a conversation smoothly? Ending politely is important. You could say, I've really enjoyed talking with you, or thanks for sharing. I learned something new. Then, if needed, add, I have to get going, but let's catch up again soon. Those are useful. And what's a good way to end a conversation smoothly? Ending politely is important. You could say, I've really enjoyed talking with you, or thanks for sharing. I learned something new. Then, if needed, add, I have to get going, but let's catch up again soon. Those are useful. And what's a good way to end a conversation smoothly? Ending politely is important. You could say, I've really enjoyed talking with you, or thanks for sharing. I learned something new. Then, if needed, add, I have to get going, but let's catch up again soon. Those are useful. And what's a good way to end a conversation smoothly? Ending politely is important. You could say, I've really enjoyed talking with you, or thanks for sharing. I learned something new. Then, if needed, add, I have to get going, but let's catch up again soon. Those are useful. And what's a good way to end a conversation smoothly? Ending politely is important. You could say, I've really enjoyed talking with you, or thanks for sharing. I learned something new. Then, if needed, add, I have to get going, but let's catch up again soon. Those are useful. And what's a good way to end a conversation smoothly? Ending politely is important. You could say, I've really enjoyed talking with you, or thanks for sharing. I learned something new. Then, if needed, add, I have to get going, but let's catch up again soon. Those are useful. And what's a good way to end a conversation smoothly? 
ending politely is important. You could say, I've really enjoyed talking with you, or thanks for sharing. I learned something new. Then, if needed, add, I have to get going, but let's catch up again soon. Those are useful. And what's a good way to end a conversation smoothly? Ending politely is important. You could say, I've really enjoyed talking with you, or thanks for sharing. I learned something new. Then, if needed, add, I have to get going, but let's catch up again soon. That sounds nice. So, I should focus on open-ended questions, relate experiences, use body language, and have a few go-to phrases. Then end politely when it's time. Exactly. These strategies will make a big difference. Just keep practicing, and conversations will flow naturally. Thanks, Jordan. I feel more confident about expanding conversations now. I'll definitely try these tips. You're welcome, Alex. Just stay curious and open, and conversations will come more easily. Good luck. That sounds nice. So, I should focus on open-ended questions, relate experiences, use body language, and have a few go-to phrases. Then end politely when it's time. Exactly. These strategies will make a big difference. Just keep practicing, and conversations will flow naturally. Thanks, Jordan. I feel more confident about expanding conversations now. I'll definitely try these tips. You're welcome, Alex. Just stay curious and open, and conversations will come more easily. Good luck. That sounds nice. So, I should focus on open-ended questions, relate experiences, use body language, and have a few go-to phrases. Then end politely when it's time. Exactly. These strategies will make a big difference. Just keep practicing, and conversations will flow naturally. Thanks, Jordan. I feel more confident about expanding conversations now. I'll definitely try these tips. You're welcome, Alex. Just stay curious and open, and conversations will come more easily. Good luck.
That sounds nice. So, I should focus on open-ended questions, relate experiences, use body language, and have a few go-to phrases. Then end politely when it's time. Exactly. These strategies will make a big difference. Just keep practicing, and conversations will flow naturally. Thanks, Jordan. I feel more confident about expanding conversations now. I'll definitely try these tips. You're welcome, Alex. Just stay curious and open, and conversations will come more easily. Good luck. That sounds nice. So, I should focus on open-ended questions, relate experiences, use body language, and have a few go-to phrases. Then end politely when it's time. Exactly. These strategies will make a big difference. Just keep practicing, and conversations will flow naturally. Thanks, Jordan. I feel more confident about expanding conversations now. I'll definitely try these tips. You're welcome, Alex. Just stay curious and open, and conversations will come more easily. Good luck. That sounds nice. So, I should focus on open-ended questions, relate experiences, use body language, and have a few go-to phrases. Then end politely when it's time. Exactly. These strategies will make a big difference. Just keep practicing, and conversations will flow naturally. Thanks, Jordan. I feel more confident about expanding conversations now. I'll definitely try these tips. You're welcome, Alex. Just stay curious and open, and conversations will come more easily. Good luck. That sounds nice. So, I should focus on open-ended questions, relate experiences, use body language, and have a few go-to phrases. Then end politely when it's time. Exactly. These strategies will make a big difference. Just keep practicing, and conversations will flow naturally. Thanks, Jordan. I feel more confident about expanding conversations now. I'll definitely try these tips. You're welcome, Alex. Just stay curious and open, and conversations will come more easily. Good luck.
That sounds nice. So, I should focus on open-ended questions, relate experiences, use body language, and have a few go-to phrases. Then end politely when it's time. Exactly. These strategies will make a big difference. Just keep practicing, and conversations will flow naturally. Thanks, Jordan. I feel more confident about expanding conversations now. I'll definitely try these tips. You're welcome, Alex. Just stay curious and open, and conversations will come more easily. Good luck. That sounds nice. So, I should focus on open-ended questions, relate experiences, use body language, and have a few go-to phrases. Then end politely when it's time. Exactly. These strategies will make a big difference. Just keep practicing, and conversations will flow naturally. Thanks, Jordan. I feel more confident about expanding conversations now. I'll definitely try these tips. You're welcome, Alex. Just stay curious and open, and conversations will come more easily. Good luck. That sounds nice. So, I should focus on open-ended questions, relate experiences, use body language, and have a few go-to phrases. Then end politely when it's time. Exactly. These strategies will make a big difference. Just keep practicing, and conversations will flow naturally. Thanks, Jordan. I feel more confident about expanding conversations now. I'll definitely try these tips. You're welcome, Alex. Just stay curious and open, and conversations will come more easily. Good luck. お疲れ様でした。もしよかったらチャンネル登録をお願いします。それじゃ、またね。